Hi guys, this is Eric. Today we're going to look at a 20th century United States poet, John William Corrington. He lived from 1932 to 1988, and the poem is Pastoral. As you'll see later, you're likely a fan of one or more of John William Corrington's works, even though you may not be aware. Pastoral. Where larks emoted, where tender summer groomed green children, and the miraculous sea wove its breath among parvenu leaves, tiny cattle strolled in the circle of a wooden bell, demi sheep cropped wonderful vegetables along a stream wound silver through rare trees. My God, Farmer Surakawa gasped, the breath of Armageddon on his neck, and turned to see a brook leap into steam. Their delicate legs snapped like hoofed matchsticks. Leaves puff white to sift on fields of glass as larks burst into flame. And on the August horizon, the city being eaten by a sun. First of all, let's define what a pastoral is so that we can see how Corrington has overturned the pastoral in this poem. This comes from the Encyclopedia Britannica. A pastoral is, quote, a class of literature that presents the society of shepherds as free from the complexity and corruption of city life Many of the idols written in its name are far remote from the realities of any life, rustic or urban." End quote. From the same source. The pastoral is a lineage of creative works that idealize rural life and landscapes. Now let's look at the two halves of the poem. This is the actual layout of the poem. And the first half is traditional pastoral, although there are subtle subversions of the poem. But the top half essentially follows the conventions of a pastoral. Everything changes when you reach Farmer Surakawa's uh, exclamation, my God, Farmer Surakawa gasped, and then the whole pastoral melts and dissolves. Now here I've uh, given an outline, a visual outline of the poem. The poem's word painting suggests two contrasting scenes. The poem mentions a brook, which then turns into steam when the atomic blast happens. The shape of the poem suggests both the meandering and wandering and back and forth of the brook. Also, in a very subtle way, it suggests the diffusion of the mushroom cloud. The poem goes out of its way by title to make sure you know it's a pastoral. The name of the poem is Pastoral. The words of the poem emphasize and subvert the pastoral character of the poem. The ugly juxtaposition of a singer and a cold word is very unmusical and it signals that the singing is over. The larks emoted. 
I think as soon as you get into the poem, there's a sense that something's wrong. And then suddenly the scene begins to melt. And the day where you can write a pastoral with confidence in the stable perennial character of nature uh, is shown to be over. During the first half of the poem, the first time reader simply cannot anticipate the sudden strange ending. In the first half of the poem, both the peace and the strangeness, the oddity of the scene is shown by many terse, weird images. Groomed green children. Now again, this suggests two things. What were the children being groomed for? Were they being groomed for life in the pastoral scene, a life of uh, productivity, or was time just grooming them to be victims of the atomic explosion? And this is a very strange sound. Demi sheep cropped wonderful vegetables. That on one hand just means eating the vegetables, but I also think you could say that the atomic explosion cropped everyone and everything in the scene. So there's a lot of duality in the meanings. A silver stream winds through, quote, rare trees. Larks emoted. And the second half of the poem, these singers burst into flame. The odd but lovely peaceful pastoral scene is suddenly interrupted and it fragments before our eyes. The second half of the poem begins with an exclamation. It features Armageddon and it ends in dissolution. My God, Farmer Surakawa gasped. The breath of Armageddon on his neck. The city being eaten by a sun. Some facts about John William Corrington. He taught at Louisiana State University. He practiced law for three years at a small personal injury firm. This information is taken from wikipedia.com. Continuing from the same source, he wrote four books of short stories and other works, and he went by the name Bill. He published four poetry collections, Where We Are, The Anatomy of Love, Mr. Clean, Lines to the South. Interestingly, when you look at where so much of his uh, creative energy and time went, Corrington said, I don't give a care about TV or film. The article said that he uh, said that somewhat disingenuously. And Corrington added that he cared about, quote, serious writing, the novel, the story, the poem, the essay. <laughs> 